Hey everyone, so today I am here with my huge Etsy sticker haul for the month of May. I actually didn't film, and you guys won't even know this, but I didn't film last week. So this is two weeks kind of compiled together. It's quite a bit, um, but I'm really excited to show you guys everything. So I've stepped from Scribble Prints Co., of course. I have a ton of stuff from Scribble Prints Co., Glam Planner, my mystery kit, and then a few things from Caress Press. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with the Glam Planner mystery kit. Oh, I had that backwards, but the glam planner mystery kit stuff i actually got this the other day and we are in the second week of may so this month it came with three extras typically it comes with two but it came with three one was one of these pens we've gotten two of these in the past i want to say maybe two or three i really do like these i think they just look really pretty in my um little pen rolly container thing i'm not sure i actually don't write with them at all but they're really cute and this is just a plain silver one with the fake gem on top i'll put that right here another little um extra was the were these index note papers they're basically just sticky notes that have tabs along the side i will probably use these because i do love sticky notes and then the last little freebie extra was just like plain notebook i'm not a huge fan of these in particular i'm not a huge fan of a lot of her extras lately though i have been loving like the pens and i do love those sticky notes but i'm probably not going to use this so i'll probably put this in a giveaway pile but that is a new extra typically like i said she only does two and then this was the kit uh, for the month and she basically made like a birthday kit for the month because her birthday is the month of may um so she wanted to kind of make a party or like a celebration kit so this is what it looks like. It's a little bit different, like reformatted a little bit, which I kind of like. Should I zoom in a bit? Okay, that's good. Man, do I need to focus you? Mm, there you go. So these are the full boxes. Um, I actually really do like the full boxes. I think there's quite a bit of this like bright magenta color, which I'm not a huge fan of. But for the most part, I do like the, like, the little kind of like bark heart and like the party theme. I think this is really cute. I'm not a huge fan of this quote box though, but I do like uh, the majority of these. And then you have your heart checklist, which she's always done this sort of pattern in the back and then the sort of whited out heart checklist, which I do like. Um, and then this page has your half boxes, two appointment labels, and this huge double box, which I actually don't like at all. I typically like her double boxes, but it's hard for me to use them because they are so big. Um, but I just don't like this one for some reason. I'm not a huge fan of it, but I do like the other full boxes. And then this sheet is completely different. I really, 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 really appreciate the fact that she put date covers and date numbers, like date dots in here or squares. Um, I've been loving that she's been adding that to her sort of like kit collection stuff now, um, which I'm really happy about. And then you have some icons, a pre-sale day sticker, a payday sticker, uh, like a payday stack of money, a little bippity and bop like birthday. That's actually really cute. And then two of these um, weekly sort of boxes. This sheet has your weekend banner flags, a ton of deco, which I love, um, more flags, a planner. Uh, what does this say? Is it new? A oh, sticker delivery today from the land of stickers and fuzzy cats that's really cute um, a movie marquee um, a clean these a buy these just a various functional sheet headers and little things and then your bottom washi and washi sheet now i love that she added the date covers in i would love heart checklists like i feel like heart checklists really complete me as far as a spread but i understand not everyone uh, uses that but this was the glam planner may mystery um i like it but it's definitely not my favorite that she's done but it's okay. Um, and then I guess I'll quickly go through SPC stuff. I also have the SPC mystery items. I'll start with Color Club. I decided from now on to just get Color Club and not color and glitter um, because I don't typically reach for glitter multicolor items, if that makes sense. Um, I do like the solids. So the May uh, Color Club items were the bouquet kind of colors, and I really like these. They're very springy. I love the purples and the green and the light pink. I really appreciate that. So this is what came in Color Club for May. So you got the icons, little things, headers. I feel like the only reason I would get glitter is for the glitter headers, but I can just grab a sheet of those, I guess. I don't know. The headers, um, your functional page here, um, the new release, or not the new release, but the extra sort of new sheet for this month were the movie marquees, which I love having another sheet of movie marquees, um, your appointment labels and daily habits, and then your half boxes and quarter boxes, and your ombre heart checklist. So that was everything that came in the color club for this month. And again, I just bring these home to have on hand just in case I need extra colors of anything. That works for me. 
And then the mystery kit, I actually brought home the mini kit. I don't know if I've ever brought in, brought in, I don't know if I've ever brought home a mini kit as far as mystery goes in a while, but I really wanted this. Oh, hi friend. We just had a little gnat fly over, but I really wanted this in a mini kit. I don't know why. I just wasn't a big fan of the ultimate, but I love the mini. So this was the May mystery. Our friend just wants to hang y'all. Okay. So, in this kit comes your exclusive kit freebie, and then with the mini kit subscription, you do get the glitter headers, which is super dope. So, sign up for the mini kit subscription if you love mini kits but want glitter headers. Pretty nice. And then these also don't come to the main shop, so that's why I love it. So, then you have your full boxes here, which I totally love this double box. It's cut, which I appreciate. I love the little coconut drink, the flip flops, the two girls. It's just really cute, and I love the colors and the palm leaves. I'm a huge fan of palm leaves. And then you have your functional sheet your first mini kit sheet and then your second mini kit sheet which is just like washi and then some deco so that is everything for the may mystery stuff that i have to show you it's gonna be so much fun to put all back together later okay moving on uh to the other spc stuff so i do have two other mini kits that i grabbed these are sort of in the same format of course minus the glitter headers so i have friends and seize the day so i'll start with friends I'm just going to briefly go through these. So this is the freebie, these full boxes, which I really like. This reminds me a lot of like a bridal shower um, or like even like a baby shower. This would be cute, but definitely more like a bridal shower. I just thought this was cute. I love the colors. I petitioned for this basically when the May mystery came out with this, these papers. I was like, I need this to be a kit and she made it a kit and I was super happy about it. So this is the mini kit for friends. And then I also grabbed the mini kit for Seize the Day. I thought this would be a really good kit for July. I haven't figured out what July, like, 4th of July kit I want to use yet, but I'll get to there eventually. Um, so then I have the freebie. These are the full boxes. I really love them. I love the little flamingo. And I love that this, again, is like a double box. Very cute. Your mini kit sheet, functional, and then your other mini kit sheet here. So those were the only mini kits I grabbed. I need to stop to get a drink. I feel like I'm about to pass out from talking so much. And then I grabbed one, two, three, three ultimate kits. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry, guys. I'm really behind on these videos. So I grabbed the Sweet Light Candy Ultimate Kit. I thought this would be perfect for next year for when we go to the rodeo. Yeah, that's what I was picturing. That's what I'm doing. Um, so I did grab the Sweet Light Candy Ultimate Kit. It comes with your exclusive kit freebie, your front page, which has your hidden flags, a ton of deco, icons, date dots, time dots, functional sheet here, half boxes and build dues, headers, patterned washi, little solid washi and labels, ombre heart checklists, your full boxes, which again, that double box, but I totally adore these full boxes with like the pops of glitter very pretty and then I love the plain bottom washi date cover strips and extra full box I feel like the deco would cover this uh, really nicely and you wouldn't feel bad about covering it and then with the ultimate kit I also grabbed the glitter sampler which oh my god seriously like look at this like holographic glitter intense and then I also grabbed the new girls boxes I thought these were really cute so that is sweet like candy again I definitely see me using this for like the rodeo next year because I love it and then I grabbed the Coffee Ultimate Kit. I think this would be perfect in the fall time, actually. When I saw that, that was all I was thinking was fall. So again, sort of the same setup. Your deco up here. Here are your full boxes. These are so, like, patterned and crazy. I might have to use this on a week where I, I don't have school because this is kind of intense. But again, I'll just briefly go through this. I love this extra full box, actually. And I love this washi. So that is coffee. And then again, like usual, I grabbed the glitter headers, which look like this. I love these colors. And then again, I grabbed the girls because I love this one with green hair. I was, like, obsessed with her. So that was coffee. And then the last ultimate kit I grabbed, I'm sorry, was the Hello July. You guys know I do the Hello monthly or weekly, monthly, weekly monthly weekly spreads <laughs> the hello monthly weekly spreads uh, so I always have to get the hello kit so this was hello July I'll go through it briefly I love that it's red white and blue or like red light blue and blue and blue <laughs> I'm obsessed seriously I love the glitter oh so pretty I'm so excited these are like some of my favorite colors seriously I should go through it briefly there's the washi so that was everything from SPC I know it's a lot. I'm sorry, guys. Okay, so last but not least, I have stuff from Crest Press. Ooh, 
I'm so excited. Okay, so the first one is actually her May mystery. I love getting her mystery kits. She does pretty good sneak peeks, so I kind of have a feel for what I want to get as far as mini or ultimate or full. And this was an 80s girl, which I'm obsessed with. I got this and I like squealed because it was so stinking cute. Okay, let me show you. Okay, again, like <laughs> so cute. Anyways. So with this kit, you got a couple of like extra a la carte freebie kind of items because you bought the mystery kit. So this one came with like a little sampler here. You have a couple quarter boxes, some flags, half boxes, and then an extra full box, which I love. And then some glitter headers, which I love. These colors are so fun. Okay, and then this kit has um, your front page here with your icons, weekend banner, like functional text, I guess, flags, and then heart checklists. And then this page, which has your deco, two daily habits, two weekly boxes, some little flags to cover the side on the neutral, date covers, which, oh my god, I didn't even look at these. These are freaking adorable. And then date dots. Those are so cute. Oh my god. Hold on. Hold on. Do they go in the same order? Oh my god, they go in the same order as the ombre heart check boxes. No one talked to me for a few minutes. I'm like, oh, so cute. <coughs> Sorry, I'm just getting over a sickness. Okay, and then here are the full boxes. Like seriously, like these are so cute. I love these so much. Okay, this sheet has your bill dues, three heart checklist, quarter boxes, flight tracker, appointment labels, movie marquee, a scalloped label, and then half boxes, headers and little things, heart checklist, which these are so cute, and then your bottom washi and washi strips. I'm sorry guys, I'm like getting sick, so I'm losing my voice. I'm getting over being sick. Okay, so that was super adorable. And then I got the June monthly kit. I haven't gotten a monthly kit in a while <laughs> sorry Siri like I, I don't even know Siri just like picked up and I said you're so cute I love you so much building square boxes flight tracker <laughs> okay <laughs> alright Siri thanks anyway so I got the June Beach Bunny monthly kit because I, like I said I haven't gotten a monthly kit from Crest Press in a while and I wanted to and this one also had my freebie in it because I ordered this at the same time as the May Mystery. So it's like a little Paris freebie. It's super cute. So this is the June Beach Bunny Monthly. You get your little extra box here to cover the days that aren't in the month. And then this is the front page with your two large boxes and then a ton of icons. I think it's double icons, which is always nice. Um, if you have like two birthdays, two um, boxes, two like doctor's appointments, things like that. It's nice to have double this page has some of the little strips. I feel like this has been reformatted since I've used a Crest Press Kit. Um, so you have little, little strips, date dots, deco, tons of bildus, tons of labels, scalloped labels, which I love, paydays, asterisks, and then like flags down here. And then this last page has your build like build a sidebar, um, extra full boxes, some more labels, and then summertime, Father's Day, and two blank labels here. So that was the June Beach uh, bunny monthly kit and then last but not least I know I'm sorry this has been pretty intense um, is the Crest Press Baywatch full kit um, I actually think Maggie drew this herself which is pretty intense and I love it so much and I wanted to support her by purchasing it because I love Maggie and I loved this kit and I thought this would be really cool in July or August I don't think I'm gonna use it for when Baywatch comes out but whatever so this was like the little freebie that came with it, which is really cute. You got like some extra deco, another half box, a movie release day. Pretty cute, sorry if you couldn't see that. And then it also came with a double box, which this one I think, yes, this one is actually cut, which is pretty dope. I love when it's like that. So you could use it separately, but I would probably use this like on the weekend side. And then I also purchased the a la carte uh, glitter headers here. And then this kit I think is formatted the same as the other one. It just looks like this. Again, look at these full boxes. These are so crazy, but I love them. I love that she drew this. I just, I don't know, I love supporting artists. I think that's awesome. Yeah, this is pretty much the same format. The ombre boxes are actually ombre, and then your bottom washi. And I like, again, that this is sort of plain because you could put your deco down there. So that is everything for the first part of this crazy haul. Alright guys, so I'm here with the final part of this haul. This is definitely not a huge Etsy sticker haul as my past hauls have been. Um, this is definitely a lot smaller, so if you like a smaller haul, I hope you enjoyed this video. But I did place quite a few orders during that Planner Boss collective sale, this actually being one of them. So hopefully June, I th actually do think June will be a much larger haul. So I only have stuff to show you from Scribble Prints Co. and So Much Crafting. I'm going to go ahead and get started with so much crafting since 
I typically only get one thing from so much crafting a year. So I did go ahead during the Planner Boss Collective sale. A bunch of shops were doing like a pretty big and awesome sale. Uh, place an order with so much crafting because I do believe it was 15% off. And I just got my inserts for the upcoming year. So this I think is June through June. So it did come with a little um, business card as well and I just got one set of inserts. I got the vertical week on two page which is what I had um, last year. Let me open it back here because I don't want to mess up the front. The front's really cute. So I did, like I said, I just got the June through June, I believe. Yes, so it starts May 29th. I don't think I'm going to be using it until July, though, the first week of July. Oh, yeah, like right here. So I have all these extra inserts that I might play around with in the future because they're not like you know, the year, but I mean, it will be kind of off, but you know what I'm saying. Um, so I probably will start in then July, and then this will be my start date. And then these go through July 1st of the next year, so that's awesome. So I just repurchased these because you guys have been seeing my rewind spreads. I'm obsessed with them. I just have to go out now and get a planner to put these in, so I will have to put them back in the cello until I get a planner because I don't have anywhere to put them, but these are the personal size, not the A5 side. Oh my gosh, did I really just do that? Oh, that actually, oh no, it didn't. Well, I ripped the back of it, but that's fine. But I will be putting these aside for now. And then I do have three kits from Scribble Prints Co. Um, this one I've been holding on to for a while. I could have shown it in the last haul, but I don't know why I didn't. And then these are two new releases. So this is the mini kit for Go For It. I've decided to try and grab more mini kits because I just... I always have a ton of ultimate kits and I really like this as a mini so this is called go for it so this is the exclusive kit freebie I love the colors they're so neutral so pretty these are the full boxes I love this like marble with like makeup and I just I love this so much and, like the gold like the rose gold chevron and stripes so these are the full boxes this is the first mini kit sheet with headers little things half boxes quarter boxes and appointment labels the second like functional sheet here which is the standard functional and then your washi sheet which just has the bottom washi a few washi strips two daily habits and then some mini deco which is so cute because it's like an iphone bobby pins a keychain a coffee cup really cute and i thought this could work essentially whenever so i did grab this in the mini kit format Let me move all of these out of the way and then I grabbed two of the ultimate kits. This is the All My Stars ultimate kit. I saw this and instantly thought of like Avery's third birthday week. I have been since her birthday is the day before Valentine's Day. The past two years been using Valentine's Day kits for her week. But I kind of really want to start using like stuff that coordinates with her birthday. So this may be her birthday theme. Um, not theme, but like for her birthday week. Because it's just so like sweet and I just love it so much. So I did grab the a la carte glitter headers, which are all gold, which is also good to have extras of these for any kit really. And then this is all my stars. So again, the exclusive kit freebie, the new, I uh, almost said first page, the new front page format, which I don't know if you guys have seen yet. So this bar is a little bit thicker because the new Erin Condren's have thicker um, flags. So there's two of those and then two of these smaller ones. You have a huge section of deco icons, some of these like functional icons down here, a flight tracker, a Dollar Tuesday and new releases and then like the canceled rescheduled and nope stickers you have some ombre heart check boxes which these are so beautiful your full boxes which I love so much these are so sweet your headers and uh, patterned washi littles labels and solid washi the same sort of functional sheet your half boxes sheet and then your bottom washi date cover strips and extra full box so again I love this kit it's just so sweet and I like it a lot this would also be really cute for like a, a baby shower anything really I could save it for my next kid in a few years you never know so this is all my stars and then the last kit I have to show you for this haul is called my kitchen I kind of compl com contemplated what am I saying I almost said complimented I contemplated using getting this as a mini kit but I just really really loved the ultimate kit so I grabbed the ultimate kit and again like with all my stars I also did grab the a la carte glitter sampler this did come with like a fashion girl sheet but i wasn't like a big fan of it because i love the full boxes here so i just grabbed the glitter sampler so again same format except for this deco is just so cute i love the little donuts and like the pizza get out of here ombre art checklist your full boxes i love this like cheese platter 
And this is a double box too, I didn't even realize. Oh, so cute. Okay, and then you have headers, pattern washi, littles, labels, and solid washi, functional, half boxes, and your bottom washi sheet. So, that is everything that I have for this haul for you guys uh, today. I hope you guys enjoyed. I know it was a lot shorter. Uh, again, June's will definitely be longer. So, go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.